Hi guys, Melissa Johnson, Hey Independent Scentsy Consult. I'm back with you again today for a lot of Milter's mixers. Play a lot. <laughs> Play a lot, a lot. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's get into it. I did a few, so I just want to share them with you guys. Um, so the first one is going to be from my friend Lee. Um... I'm going to link his channel, you guys. He's so funny. I have a couple in here from me that I want to share. So the first one is, um, he, he said to put together Mahalo, Coconut, and Ursula. Poor Unfortunate Souls. And Ursula, thank you, Susanna. You made this possible. <laughs> and um, the other one is from Brenda. So thank you so much, you guys. <laughs> um, so this is a really nice combination. Um, Mahalo Coconut goes really well with like the berry. I don't know. It, I mean, this is aquatic. This is like creamy, florally coconut. I don't know. It just all blends together really pretty. Um, so if Poor Unfortunate Souls is too creamy or too creamy too tart for you add the creamy mahalo coconut with it that was very nice um i'm not sure how long ursula is available for maybe maybe the end of the month um and then if you don't have mahalo coconut what could you use or you know buy a bar save it you know for next year like well yeah, next year, technically. When the new catalog comes out and Mahalo Coconut will probably be back. Um, it's a nice medium performer. Um, I got through so many because I did like four cubes out here, four cubes in there. Um, you know, like two, no. I mean, two mixes at the same time, but uh, you know, two cubes, one of each in four warmers, if that makes sense. <laughs> Hopefully it does. Um, but this is very nice. So it's fun to change up. So if you're doing like a lot of spice or pumpkin in the, in the fall, it's nice to, I have a drop seize today. It's nice to kind of mix it up and throw in like a berry, you know, um, fruity coconutty one. So definitely give that a try. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> And let's see if I can find the other one real quick. Uh, hmm. Aha. <laughs> so I had a bar gift. Oh, I had like three of these gifted to me from Brenda. Um of sweet plum pastry. Now I actually don't care for sweet plum pastry on its own all that much. It's kind of dark. It's like really dark to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but Lee um, recommended putting it together with around the campfire. I This is actually very nice. I kind of like the way that this smoky sweet works with like the dark plum. Kind of made like a I don't know, like a, I don't know, a cozy scent. Um, maybe even romantic. <laughs> um, you know, like a bonfire-y, I don't know, nice plum kind of a feel to the smoky. I don't know, it was nice and cozy. It, the, um, around the campfire actually made me like <laughs> Um, sweet plum pastry more so this is definitely a combination to think about um, around the campfire is available now I did this one out here the four cubes out here and it kind of drifted into the living room a little bit so this is a nice probably seven out of ten mix um, so if you happen to have sweet plum pastry try it with around the campfire you might really enjoy that I actually enjoyed that. <laughs> so thank you, Lee, for that suggestion. And then this one was a suggestion. Now, these are bars that I don't have, but you might have them in your club. 
Um, this was from Anna Nation. Brenda gave me this one. Um, this is Cutie Pie Cupcake in White Tea and Cactus. I don't love White Tea and Cactus. I was just hanging on to a bar. I mean, it's kind of spa, kind of like soap. I don't know. But I will, look, I only have one cube left, you guys. That's going to my kitchen. <laughs> um, and four left of white tea and cactus. But um, she's covered, too. Uh, Cutie Pie Cupcake actually made me enjoy white tea and cactus. And I don't love either one of these on their own. But the combination was very nice. I have to say it was very pleasant, very nice. So if you haven't had, oh, she's fully covered. <laughs> she's just being a toad. <laughs> um, if you happen to have, sorry if that's sharp in your earbuds. Sorry, I don't know why she does that. She's a booger. Um, if you happen to have white tea and cactus, like a, you know, a bar hanging around, same with cutie pie cupcake, try those together. That was very nice. Um, I see it's a medium throw. I did it out here. Um, it was nice. I, it, it was, it made, Cutie Pie Cupcake made White Tea and Cactus better. Um, but it's, I mean, it's, it, I mean, you have to kind of like the spa, but it's like, it sweetens up the spa. It's not a soapy spa. I don't know. It, Cutie Pie Cupcake did wonders for it, I must say. <laughs> so, then I did, oh, so this is a mix, um, I did this in the kitchen. <laughs> you guys, these like two cube things drive me bonkers. I need to just set a stack out there in my kitchen of things I just need to melt through because it drives me bonkers. Um, Corina Florent and Jennifer Kerwin suggested putting together a perfect peppermint with hug in a mug. This was very nice, like a peppermint cocoa. It was very nice. Um, I will say this is like a creamy chocolate. I even sometimes get when it's melting on its own. Like, uh, like the um, cookie dough kind of thing with like that creamy chocolate and then like, you know, perfect peppermint. Kind of like a mocha, peppermint mocha at Starbucks, but not the dark chocolate kind. Um, a peppermint mocha at Starbucks is like dark chocolate, kind of like a peppermint patty melted. Um, so this was more of a creamy chocolate, but this is very nice. Give this a try. I was kind of strong in my kitchen. I only did two cubes out there because that was four all together. Um, obviously, I didn't want to fill up that warmer more than that, but... And again, I'm telling you the performance of four cubes. Um, it was kind of coming out here a little bit. So <laughs> definitely give that a try. So thank you, Karina Florent and Jennifer Kerwin for that recommendation. I do think a lot of people like that. Perfect Peppermint is a current catalog scent and hug and a mug. Hopefully you clubbed it <laughs> like me. I love like the cookie dough hazelnut feel to hug and a mug. That's why I clubbed it. Um, so let's see. I did a mix. I had talked about doing this and I kind of wanted to do this up my, uh, Halloween town. Look at that. I love this holographic <laughs> label. I don't love Halloween town. I don't know. There's, there's something in it. I think it's like a cedar wood kind of a note that I'm not loving with the plum kind of a feel. I don't know, it's like putting together cedar cider and sweet plum pastry. I, I just don't like the cedar with the plum, I guess. That's why I love, like, Ghostly Greetings. It's not cedar and plum kind of a feel. It's not the same. Anyways, I was thinking, well, I think cashmere corduroy would go nice with this. I did this in the office. It's, oh, I love cashmere corduroy, cashmere and corduroy. Oh, this is amazing. Um, but this is still kind of dark and this came through, but it, it was really pretty. It is worth trying. I know other people don't love Halloween Town because it's kind of dark. Um, try mixing it with cashmere and corduroy. Even try 
two cubes of cashmere and corduroy to one Halloween town. Um, but it is very pretty. It does make it more perfumey. Um, I mean, it is pleasant. So definitely give that a try. Um, it was worth doing. Would I run out and do it again? No, I think because I still got enough. Would I do two to one? Yes. I would do two cashmere and corduroy to one Halloween town. Yes. Just because I want to dry out the Halloween town a little bit more. Um, so. All right. So someone had asked me. Um, they don't like. <laughs> this is Angel Adamzak. Um, said that she wanted some ideas for Palo Santo, Sensi's Palo Santo, um, because she doesn't like Sensi's Palo Santo. This one I got from Brenda, and this one I had. You guys, I have two cubes. I love Sensi's Palo Santo. <laughs> um, thank you, Brenda. <laughs> um, I love it. I, I think it's a sweet wood. I think it's pretty, but most people don't like it. So I thought, well, this will be fun. So I put it together with, and this is why, another reason why I needed to use a <laughs> cashmere and corduroy. I did try it with Palo Santo with cashmere and corduroy. Amazing. I loved this. I would totally melt it again. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love, love, love. So I highly recommend cashmere and corduroy with Palo Santo. Um, it was very cozy, homey, perfumey. It was amazing, it was fancy to me. I love this combination, highly recommend. Then I tried melting it with, um, trying to keep all my notes together. I thought I did it with that one, but I must not have. Hmm. Well, I have two cubes, I can try that in the kitchen. <laughs> that last one. Um, I had some um, satin sheets that I was hanging on to, so I did Palo Santo and, and satin sheets. I don't think I care for satin sheets once it matures. Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a plain waxy, I don't know. Um, it was just okay. Uh, I wouldn't do this one again just because that that waxy smell that I don't love about satin sheets kind of was stronger than Palo Santo to me and I kept smelling the satin sheets and I it was okay I just didn't love it so I personally wouldn't do that one again my favorite <laughs> I don't know it's a tough tie between cashmere and corduroy and Palo Santo and Graham Cracker Crunch in Palo Santo. Whoa, this was amazing. I would a million times melt this again. A million times. This was glorious. Absolutely glorious. They were all a medium throw. Um, glorious. I'm not even joking. Glorious. Highly recommend. If you have Palo Santo, please, if you have Graham Cracker Crunch, put it together with Graham Cracker Crunch. A million times. <laughs> I love, love, love that so much. I, oh, amazing. Um, what did I say? Oh, with that other one. <laughs> so I was like, what did I say I was going to put that with? Um, then I was telling you guys in my empties about this mix, and it's worth putting into Melter's mixers because it was really good. I also came up when I was sniffing through these. Um, of putting together vanilla, barnwood, and palo santo and cinnamon. This reminds me of like a Teddy Bee's blend, kind of like the palo santo and the cashmere and corduroy, or the palo santo and the graham cracker crunch. They're kind of Teddy Bee's ish to me, but this one is very Teddy Bee's ish. Very fancy, cozy home. Um, vanilla barnwood changes on cold or on cold on warm compared to what it is on cold. And it just blends so beautifully with Palo Santo and cinnamon. And it kind of morphs as it goes. I love this. Um, 
What is the throw on this? I think because of the Palo Santo and cinnamon, it kind of anted up to like a medium. I would, I would say at least a four out of five, if not a five out of five. Um, <laughs> she's the bane of my existence. Um, yeah, so definitely, definitely give this a try. I highly recommend. Love that. Um, and then... I did um, the infamous mix because we ended up getting back churro churro. I dropped it from my club because it, I mean, it's a lighter bar. Everybody else dropped it. So I was like, I might as well too. And then this bar um, of apple butter frosting was gifted to me. Jeanette, Jeanette, thank you. So I have apple butter frosting and churro churro. That's the Lisa Roberry famous mix. Had to try it. It was really good. Was it good enough to, look, I have three of each. <laughs> um, I have to do it again. But um, I I don't like, I'm like the only person in the world that doesn't like apple butter frosting. It comes off kind of waxy to me. It's the way the vanilla is. Me and vanilla, yeah, I, just, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and then churro churro is good. Um, it's I like that one, but was it enough that I needed to save it? No, I didn't save churro churro. I don't, cause I needed to get rid of a bunch of scents and I was like, nobody else is saving it. I'm not gonna save it. So I didn't save churro churro. There's enough to do this again. <laughs> and it was actually really, really good. So if you haven't tried it, try, try it. I just happened to get lucky. Jeanette sent me this and this came back and bring back my bar and I was like, voila. So see, it goes to show, I never thought I'd see churro churro or apple butter frosting back at the same time enough to try it, but I still wrote the mix down. It happened and uh, I mean, fate <laughs> allowed it so that I could put these together. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I got to try that. So that that is a great mix, I have to say. And then, um, oh, this is, this is amazing. I think my favorite favorites, I have to say Palo Santo and Graham Cracker Crunch was a favorite, favorite. And this one, along with the vanilla barnwood and Palo Santo and cinnamon. This was a suggestion from Melinda Riston and, oh, and that, so who gave me this? Oh, Vanilla Waves. Virginia gave me Vanilla Waves. Thank you, Virginia. Um, she recommended putting together, Melinda did, Clove and Cinnamon and um, Vanilla Waves. I loved this, but I love Clove and Cinnamon. Loved it. I had it in my club and I was like, I can't keep them all, so I'm gonna keep Cozy Fireside. Cause I really, really, really love that one. And they're similar enough. I won't die if it doesn't come back. Hey, it came back. But I lost Vanilla Waves, but a, a bunch of amazing people were like awesome enough to gift me, were thoughtful enough to gift me a whole bunch of bars of Vanilla Waves. Hey, Tiger Lily, Sand Sweat, you guys are amazing. So thanks to you guys, Virginia, this bar in particular, I was able to do this mix and it was amazing. I would do it over and over and over. I loved it so much. So if you ever have the opportunity, if you happen to have Vanilla Waves, try it with clove and cinnamon. Um, I do think you have to like clove and cinnamon for it to work, but it's so pretty. You just elevated clove and cinnamon to a whole nother level. Loved it. I would say this mix is probably seven out of 10 <laughs> and it was like two days. And I was like, well, I guess I probably would have gone three, but I was like, I guess I've got to move on. <laughs> um, speaking of vanilla waves, now this bar, um, it's funny, I broke open two bars. <laughs> um, I don't know why I did that, but I mean, I'll have to <laughs> melt them. Um, this was a suggestion, this, bar of vanilla waves I got from Rosie. So thank you, Rosie. Oh, I love vanilla waves. Um, and I happen to have one lonely bar of Atlantic air that I was saving. So Lisa with two E's Scentsy and More channel. <laughs> 
Um, oh, she said to do these alternating. I did them, I wasn't paying attention to my own note. I did them in the same warmer and I actually still really loved it. But, hmm, I should try that alternating too. My apologies, normally she's not that obnoxious, so as long as she's covered, I don't know. But I've been upstairs dealing with a lot. She's just lonely, I think. So my apologies if she, I just wish she wouldn't do the shrill noise. All the other noises are cute. I'm like, why is she doing the screamy one? <laughs> um, but yeah, so thank you, Rosie, for this bar. Um, I'm so glad I still had a bar of Atlantic Air that I could try this together. So pretty, Lisa. So pretty. I love that together. It's oceany. <laughs> you get like this salty, caramely vanilla note, like sea salt and caramel note of vanilla waves with Atlantic Air, which is like fresh air. So it's kind of ocean, ocean fresh air. So that was very nice, Lisa. Thank you. Um, Probably a five out of 10. So that was a good one. And I'm gonna save the very unique one for last. Um, so this was a recommendation. This was nice. Um, Pamela Petroni recommend, I had one of these bars that I was saving of coconut cotton. She recommended putting it together with pink haze. I still have pink haze in my club. Um, coconut cotton and pink haze is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I was, this smells like suave <laughs> coconut shampoo mixed with like pink haze, which is kind of like a strawberry cotton candy to me, mostly cotton candy. <sighs> Together, these are magical. I really love this combination. The creamy coconutty with the like cotton candy. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> that was fantastic. That's a good one. That's a keeper, guys. Um, and then how oh, do I keep all these papers? So Angela or Angela. Um, Angel, I hope that was some good ideas with Palo Santo to help you out. Um, and then last but not least, you guys, this is gonna sound like the weirdest combination because I was like, this is very interesting. I actually really enjoyed it. I have since taken Desert Tropics out of my club. I think I have another bar, maybe two. So um, Lily Grant recommended putting together Root Beer Float and Desert Tropics for a fruit punch scent. Well, I'll be doggone if it doesn't kind of do a fruit punch scent. And who gave, uh, Brenda gave me Root Beer Float. That's one of my all time favorite bars. You guys, we need Root Beer Float back. Not Root Beer Barrel. That root beer float with the creamy vanilla. I'm obsessed with this bar. <laughs> but anyways, believe it or not, this is a wonderful combination. Shocking, right? It was kind of fruit punch. At first, I got a little more, I was like, oh, okay, I'm smelling the desert tropics. But then once root beer float comes alive, it does something really pretty. Like, I don't know what it is about root beer float that kind of like, I don't know. It works so good with this together. I'd have never in a million years thought to put this together. So bravo, Lily Grant. <laughs> if you haven't come across these, happen to have them, whatever, it's worth trying because I had no idea that could be amazing together. I actually really liked it and I would do that again, which I actually have enough to do it again. So Thank you, Lily. That was the surprising, um, the surprising one of the bunch that I'd have been, I remember thinking, mm, I don't know how I feel about fruit smoothie with like root beer float. It's really good, <laughs> really good. Um, so that was great. How creative, Lily. Um, but yeah, you guys, so I hope that was fun. I hope it was um, helpful. Um, yeah, and so if you have more ideas, go ahead and share them. Like I said, I'm going to link my friend Lee's channel in, uh, in the, in the description box. So check out his channel. He's a hoot. Um, yeah, and he has some really great ideas. So, and he's from the UK, so it gives you a whole nother perspective. 
and thanks everybody um have a good night bye